Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 29 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So we have charged the particles, right? And the momentum P, and initially it's moving along the X axis. And it enters a region where is a unit uh, magnetic field that is given. It is in the key component. Now, we need to we know the particles is deflected a distance d in the positive y direction. So it moves this way. First one, determine whether this charge Q is positive or negative. So how can we do that? We can see for the charged particles in the magnetic field, it do the circular motion, right? When this charged particle at zero, the momentum P is pointing to X component. So, of course, the Lorentz force will pointing up, pointing to the center of the circular motion, right? So, there we can do that. We can see this Lorentz force equal to QV cross B, right? And then this force pointing to Y component. So, this is J component, right? And the, we can see the V velocity pointing to X component. We can consider it is in I component. This is Q at there, right? And then the B is to the K component. We write it there. Now we can see for the vector part, it is just I cross K. It is positive, should equal to the J, right? I cross K should equal to J. Of course, there must be a negative sign. So this negative side come to this Q. Of course, we know the charge on the particle must be negative. Because this Q brings negative side to make the negative I cross K equal to J. The second one asks you the magnitude for this momentum P. So how can we do that? We can consider there. Um, as we can see, um, the charged particles do circular motion, right? And this uh, force, Lorentz force, is QVB equal to mass times central acceleration. Central acceleration is V squared divided by R, right? And also this P, we can consider we are interested on the momentum is mass times V. And the V, we can get from this uh, Lorentz force. So we solve this equation, we get the term for V at zero. The next one looks like we are interested on the R. R is the angle given. So how can we do that? We can look at this picture. Right? This is a triangle. This is a right angle. And then this side length is R. This is L. And this is D. This is given. So this side length is R minus D. Agree? So in this uh, triangle, we can write this uh, function. We can write the equation. Look like that one, write the equation on L, D, R, in this one, right? And then you reorganize it, you get function for R. Now you can see you input the R in this one, you get the V. And then input the V in this uh, momentum, you get it there. So now you can see V is Q, v, Q, V naught times R divided by mass. R is D squared plus L squared divided by 2D. Thank you.